here's a overview review if you like and setting guide instruction sem, sort of semi instruction instructional video about the Salis RT510 RF wireless programmable room stat now there is a wired version of this as well as a wire wireless version the version I have in front of me is the older version it's been superseded by the one featured in my previous videos but anyway when you buy this unit what do you get well two batteries a receiver unit okay the receiver unit has an on off function auto and manual manual manos hands is on all the time auto is referring back to the the, the transmitter unit the the pro thermostat okay so that's that and that is this is hardwired into the boiler using the connections on the rear it doesn't have open therm like the the previous 520 it just has on and off so it's not smart at all okay and then we have this unit this is your thermostat head unit and as well in that as well as that in the box we have a little stand so you can just clip the stand onto the back stand it up happy days so to put the batteries in you slide this down We've got a couple of stunt batteries here which may or may not be charged yep they are okay and now that is the thing working so to set it up okay you press the set button and something's going to flash can you see that the day is flashing so to change the value of the, 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 of the thing that's flashing use your up and down arrows so it's fr Monday to Friday Saturday to Sunday and there's no other options so on this you have to you have to set Monday to Friday and then Saturday to Sunday you can't do seven unless there there's a little jumper or a link under there that you can flick and have it on seven I think there might be actually there might be a little changeable thing under there under under here some little dip switches I think if you change them you get seven days but you might find that you actually get seven individual days so be careful with that right so to set it Monday to Friday let's set Monday to Friday we press select okay what the first time is uh, 6 a.m. well that's right I'm up at 6 uh, I'm up at 6.30 not really by the way Select and the temperature I want 21 degrees. Yep, right by eight o'clock I'm out to work, so we go set. Oops, See, I've done it wrong myself now. Select 6:30, 21 degrees, eight o'clock. We're out of the house, and we want something like 16 degrees, 16. So it's on just low all day just to keep the chill off the house. Uh, 12 o'clock we're still out so again we'll have 16 degrees and the next one is at 2 p.m. Well, let's change that to 4 p.m. select and we will have 20 20 degrees or 18 degrees maybe 19 let's compromise 19 degrees eh? select 6 p.m. We'll have another 21 right 10 p.m. we're going to go to bed this is number six so you set that down to uh, your bedtime 10 p.m. for example and then you leave that up 14 degrees set set okay so now that is set up for in the week I've not set the weekends okay so if you look at the front of it now it's saying 14 degrees it's just come out of my van it was a bit cold in there Okay, so the thermostat is he thinks it's 14 degrees. If you press the up arrow, it's it's you see now it's showing a, a frost. So if we just press the frost button, once the clap clears the frost function, 14 degrees. Now press the up arrow, we can take it to 19 degrees. It will now send a signal to the boiler to bring the boiler on. Okay, and if this unit was wired. 
and on auto that we'd have a red light and a green light. Green light would be that it's had a signal from this and it's firing up. So if you walk into the house and you're too hot and it's saying 19 degrees or 14 degrees and you're just too hot, you hit the down arrow and you turn it down to 13 degrees and it will go off. Okay. As well as that, we have other functions. We have a holiday function. It's a picture of a plane. You can press that and just put your dates in for your holidays. Uh, you can have plus one hour, so you can boost it up for an hour. And you've got like a child lock function. Ugh. And under here, you've got your select, set, test and pairing buttons. Don't press the test and pairing unless you really have to. Because this just slides down. Okay, so it's just a vanity cover. Uh, so that's that. So it's fairly straightforward to set up. And it doesn't, it is a bit front heavy though. I, I'd just say it's, it's quite front heavy. You know, even when it's got the batteries in. And these, this is your little instruction book. And what we've got here is we've got some hieroglyphics. Okay. But don't be afraid, I mean, you can normally get the, the gist of it. Um, don't be afraid, it, it shows the uh, red and green lights there from your power and demand lights. The basic thing is, is you can go into the menu and you can do set. So that's all you need to do. So if you press select and set at the same time, so if we just press them both at the same time we should get to the clock but because I'm messing about press set right so now we've got uh, the clock function okay two buttons pressed together brings it into clock so we've got 12 and 24 so let's say we want 24 hours select it's now 1515 hours 15 and then look Press select when you've got the quantity you want. 15, select. And now it's asking you what day it is. So it's Monday, Saturday, today. There we go. Set. It doesn't ask for the date on this one. It just asks for the day of the week. So we now know it's Saturday. We now know the time. Okay. And the frost function is active again. I've hit that button. So just turn that off. And uh, the frost function, yeah. So let's just say, for example, your heating doesn't come on and you've got a little frost symbol there it's be, I'll just put it on there it's because and you and press any button it's showing five degrees someone's actually hit this button so just press that button that's gone normal service is resumed okay so that's a handy little tip because quite a few call outs that I do get is be, with these is because someone's pressed the frost button and the heating's gone off and then they're all um, of a lather because they don't know what to do and they start pressing all sorts of things and they're taking batteries in and out when all they needed to do was just to press that frost button uh, but if you do have this unit and your heating doesn't come on for whatever reason maybe the batteries are gone or you've, you've mucked up the program or whatever just set it to manual set it to manual like that and your heating will come on you'll get a green light your boiler will come on leave it on for an hour turn it off for half an hour you know that sort of thing it will just stay on all the time all right so if any if, if you like this video just give us a like a thumbs up you know uh, comment subscribe and all that ask any questions you desire if there's anything else I need to explain a bit better in my videos or maybe the, you want to criticize the quality of my camera work which you'd be more than justified in doing um, just let me know and uh, yeah, good luck with your thermostat. Cheers.